YouTube, welcome to my gym. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Our gym is finally complete. It only took, what, five months? <laughs> if you guys have been following us on Instagram and on YouTube a little bit, you would know that this gym has been one hell of a process. So, <laughs> we finally got the last pieces of our equipment in and now it's time for a dang gym tour. I know you guys have been waiting. Hit me up when the frig is the gym tour coming up. It's here, baby. We're gonna go through every single piece of equipment we got in our little facility here, talk about why we got it, what it's good for, showcase the new equipment, all that good stuff. This video is perfect for those who are looking to create maybe their own home gym. So definitely hit that subscribe button, follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, because together we got this. And this gym, baby, this gym is gonna be in a lot of upcoming YouTube videos. We're gonna be doing our workouts. We're gonna be killing it on there. So don't miss out. All right guys, so we'll be back at the gym in just a second, but real quick, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Just CBD. They have such a great assortment of premium CBD products, it's not even freaking funny, but my personal favorite are their night gummies. Their night gummies are so delicious, they're made with melatonin, so they really help you conk out and sleep like a rock. I personally need it more than anything because we live right next to a very busy road, so it is always loud. The traffic at night, especially with these loud trucks, early in the morning, I need these. I sleep right through all the noise when I take these. So their night gummies have an assortment of flavors. Cherry, pink grapefruit, frickin' watermelon, strawberry, orange, blue raspberry, lime, grape, green apple, mango, pineapple, and lemon. There's so many different flavors. As you can see, I'm almost done with this one, but that's why we got our backups. This is how much we love our night CBD. Me and Bay, all day. Oh yes every night. So definitely check the link down below. I'll be sure to have this linked up for you and use code Ashley to get 20% off. All right, now back to the gym, baby. So this space is about almost 700 square feet. This is not in our home. It's actually a commercial space that Bay and I rented out. It's kind of our gym slash filming studio. So for YouTube, Instagram, all our content pretty much can be made here. Any activewear reviews, we like to test them out on the equipment. If you guys have been following this journey that we started back in February when we started leasing this place, do you remember what it used to look like? Tell me you remember, because we did videos on it and it was um, pretty shysty looking. It doesn't look anything like this now. So it was a complete remodel of this room. We had to paint the floors. We had to repaint the walls. They were like two different colors. We knew we were in for a little bit of a project when renting this place out. And I'm really glad that we did though, because it looks like a new damn place. We are starting with cardio. So we have two pieces of cardio equipment. What's funny is originally we weren't gonna have any cardio. We were just gonna pretty much uh, jog in place, I guess. Uh, it was not even a month after we got this place where I said I absolutely need cardio equipment. There's just no way around it. We decided on a treadmill and a stationary bike. These are the two pieces of cardio equipment we primarily use and I like to use them interchangeably. So this treadmill is from the brand Soul. It's their F63 model. I was looking far and wide for the perfect treadmill. I needed at least a 15% incline, all right? I also needed a little something speedy, all right? So when I try to learn to run, <laughs> it can hang. So um, after doing a bunch of research, Soul was actually ranked really high. It's kind of the most bang for your buck in the realms of treadmill. So for what you get, the features and things like that, it was the most reasonable price where some of them really, they really jacked those prices up. I was like, shit. I'm really happy with it. I love this treadmill. Thought I have my stationary bike. <laughs> I have a thing for bikes, okay? I love them and hate them. They shred you right up. This one is from the brand Precor. It's a spinning bike. It has a nice resistance. You got your resistance right here so you can challenge yourself. There's no screens or any monitors or anything like that, but I, personally like it, just simple, straightforward, hop on the bike and just tear it up. You do have cup holders and things like that, even a spot for your iPad or iPhone. What I like about this in particular is, as you've probably seen, we are going for more of a white frame look. 
So all our equipment, most of it has just like a white base to it. Kind of keep it open, bright and airy looking. So there is a theme in here we're going on. So we are happy that we were able to find a spinning bike that just matched our overall theme and what we're looking for. This bike is made with a belt, not a chain. They give you the option. I didn't want a chain because chains break easier. So I went with the band for like another $100 more. And I love it. It's just such a smooth ride. I freaking love you. All right, guys. So we got our Life Fitness pull down machine slash row machine. You're gonna see that we have a few machines that dual as two and ones. Main reason is because the space is limited. You know, it's not a it's not a giant gym we got going on here. So I absolutely knew I wanted a lat pull down, a row machine. Gotta work that back out a little bit here. It's such a simple, straightforward machine to use. You just simply sit there, do your lat pull downs. You don't have to adjust anything or move anything. In that same position, you could just grab the row and start banging out some rows. So they just, it's just interchangeable. You can just hop from one exercise to the other. This wide grip bar and this narrow grip bar are the only two attachments that came with this machine. We bought a whole bunch of more attachments from Amazon because I do like to do uh, different kinds of exercises on them. So yeah, maybe we gotta target all different areas of the back. A big reason we went with Life Fitness, they're very reputable. I see them everywhere. And I wanted something that would be here like 20 years from now because we do plan on taking all this equipment and shoving it into our future home. <laughs> I have always wanted a gym, uh, like a personal gym since pretty much since I was born. So I knew this would happen, I'm glad it happened, and I need something that will be here like till I die. So we definitely wanted high quality. Life Fitness kind of just checked that box for us. And a big thing I liked about them was the fact that you can customize the equipment. So white frame, and you can customize the color of your upholstery. This is why we went with Dove Gray, kind of almost matching the flooring. We didn't want our gym space to be just dark, because a lot of the equipment, dumbbells and free weights, they're black. So we didn't want like, the equipment to be black as well. We didn't want a dark space. I just love more of a positive, brighter space. That's just me personally, and I knew the green plants would just pop in here, and I just love that more minimal look, man. I kind of have that like yogi thing. And not for nothing, but light colors in general just make a room look bigger. They just make it appear bigger. So yeah, I think it works. We love the white and gray. I wanted to come in here and feel like I was floating on a big fluffy cloud. Moving on to one of my favorite machines in this world, it's the back extension machine. I have scoliosis, so it's very, very important for me to keep a very strong back and core. I love it, I can just sit there and do back extensions all day. I also like to do abs core, doing side bends on here are really a nice challenge. So this baby takes care of my whole core for me. I actually had bought a few years ago an Amazon back extension machine, all right? Don't do it. I almost fell forward onto my face a thousand times and uh, I caught myself. I never actually went through with falling on my face, but uh, nevertheless, it just didn't hold up. Not even for me. I am five foot three, God damn it. <laughs> so yeah, man, same deal as what you would see at your local Planet Fitness. <laughs> I keep talking about Planet Fitness. <laughs> That's where I used to go. Then you? Okay, so this machine, <laughs> I love you, but you also pissed me off during this whole process, and you know why. So this is a two-in-one machine, got another one of those. It's a leg curl and a leg extension. I needed this for my leggies. There's only so many compound movements I can do to work that muscle group because it's freaking hard, especially with my bad back. So I love having an isolation machine for your quads and your hammies. So here's the part of the video where I gotta vent my frustrations a little bit. Just in case you're thinking about going with Life Fitness or creating your own gym, you need to know the details of my experience, man. That's the whole point of the video. So what happened was we placed this order for all of the equipment. You have to pay upfront cash. There's no payment methods involved unless you have like a full-fledged gym you're opening apparently, but because this is our own personal use, we had to pay upfront cash before they even shipped anything out. And we were told that it would take approximately eight to 10 weeks for delivery. So we were well prepared for that, okay? Two months, no problem. There was very little to zero communication on their behalf. We were waiting around, didn't hear about anything. They had a, a 
projected delivery date that just came and went. Uh, so we were just like, okay, I guess it's not happening. So a couple weeks after that date, we reached out and said, where's our equipment? What's going on? That's when they said, oh, we just got it in. Right, so I was like, oh, okay. So when we reached out to them, they just so happened to receive it that day, but only half of the equipment was there. So they pretty much said, hey, do you want half the equipment or do you wanna wait till everything comes in? I said, man, I need this equipment now, so I'll get half now, half later, I guess. So at that point, we were already a month late from the projected delivery. So they came, they installed half the equipment, everything was super smooth with that. Then we were waiting another like month. Then that month turned into like a month and a half. And I'm like, what is going on? Again, zero communication. <laughs> Nobody's telling me where the fuck my equipment is. So I'm getting a little bit pissed because again, yo, we paid up front, like where's my shit? So we reached out yet again <laughs> and they happened to say the same thing they said the first time. Oh, it just so happened to come in that day. Again, I think it's because they had a suspicion that we were like this close to canceling <laughs> and they were trying to protect their ass. I don't know. So they finally came in and installed the second half of the equipment, the three machines you see right here. So they came and installed everything, but at the very tail end of them installing, they said that they would have to get a new seat for this machine sent out because they packed up the wrong color seat. They said they overnighted it that day. That day, they overnighted it. We didn't hear anything back. They said, by in a day or two, you'll have your seat installed, our bad. So for a whole week, we didn't hear anything. So we reached out yet again, <laughs> following up. Then they just so happened to say it got shipped out that day. Ironically enough, right? <laughs> so it's whenever we're communicating, trying to figure out what's going on is when they would have it arrived apparently. Another week goes by, we didn't hear of anything going on. No update again. So this time they actually said, oh, sorry, it's back ordered. Even though they said that they shipped it out twice. So here I am like, wow, dude, there is zero communication through this whole process it's like once they took my money it's like we didn't even exist so this is why i'm just letting you guys know from our personal experience this is actually a big reason why we went with different cardio equipment we were going to order everything from life fitness so once we knew we wanted cardio equipment i was like let's hit up life fitness but because everything was so all over the place and there's no communication we just bought from other brands and we're going to continue to do that in the future because we had such a crazy awkward not so smooth experience with life fitness unfortunately i wanted to like love them but other than that their machines are really nice high quality i gotta give them that but i don't do with the no communication thing when i hand you over a hefty amount of money i expect you to be thorough and communicate with me till the very end until i get my last piece of equipment my motto is under promise and over deliver so anyways when we finally got our seat I'm a happy camper now. So yeah, this is a two-in-one leg extension and hamstring curl machine. We absolutely love it. It is perfect rather than having two separate pieces of equipment for each. Two-in-one machines have made this space so doable. Over here, we have a floating Amazon squat rack. I knew from the beginning, I said, I think I might need a normal squat rack for free weight. We have the Smith machine, which you'll see in a second, but I knew I needed something to lift heavier free weight with. So this Amazon squat rack is perfect because you can condense it. So for our small space, guys, if you have an apartment or a small home gym anywhere and you need a squat rack that can work for that small space, I highly suggest this baby right here. It's from the brand CFF Fit. And it's just two separate pieces of equipment here. You even have a self spotter here. It's really great. You could do chest press or squatting, whatever you need. It is completely adjustable and it holds up to, I think like 750 pounds. So it does the damn thing. The reason why I wanted just a freestanding squat rack with free weight is because as much as I love the Smith machine, there is really nothing like squatting free weight. I feel like it just helps with overall balance, strength, it helps me to kind of settle into my natural squat rather than just being in a certain fixed position that could potentially be bad for my lower back. So this allows me to just kind of squat it out naturally as my body would naturally bend and doesn't keep me in a fixed pose. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I've been gaining some strength with this baby. I have an Olympic sized barbell for it and it's been Okay guys, so over here on this little baby wall, we have our fixed barbells. I love fixed barbells. I love them so much, man. I love them when working abs. 
I love them when just squatting, when you just wanna warm up a little bit, bent over rows, you name it. I like having fixed barbells for even weight distribution, uh, keeping things nice and balanced. They come in handy for me. I don't know if I'll ever touch those heavy ones, but that's for Bay. I don't even know if I'll ever touch those. True. We have them going from 20 pounds all the way up to 110 pounds. A nice variety going on there. Who knows, maybe I'll get to 110 pounds one day. And as you guys can see, we love splashing in pops of green everywhere. That is my thing. I'm a very plant-oriented kind of person. I love things looking airy and breathable, even though they're fake. So we even like hung some random ass vines we got on Amazon here. Don't know if I love it or hate it, so comment down below if it looks tacky or if you can vibe with it. I also don't know if I love or hate this sign either. <laughs> <laughs> we actually printed our logo and our slogan, AG Fitness, together we got this. With all the way handles, I don't, it's all right. <laughs> I don't know if I love it though. Okay. Over here's our dip station. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Amazon as well. I don't know the brand, but everything will be linked down below for you. So every piece of Amazon equipment I talk about in here will be linked down below for you because I cannot remember the name. It's a really good dip bar. You know, I gotta work on my dips, man. I gotta keep the upper body nice and strong. And there's nothing in the world that works my upper body and shreds it up like a freaking dip bar. I also have in here sandwiched in my yoga bowl. I pretty much break this baby out when I feel like doing low key abs on a yoga bowl, nothing hard on the ground, nothing crazy, nothing intense, just a little more range of motion when doing my sit-ups. And over here's my prized possession. I love you, cable machine. Oh, you're so good to me. So we decided to get, from my fitness again, the corner cable machine. It was between this and the one that kind of stretches across, it's more of a cross body cable machine. We don't have the space for that, <laughs> all right? Fits right in the corner. Bay and I could both be one on each end and just staring at each other. It came with stuff like these handles right here, basic handles. I think one rope came with it. Uh, I this straight bar right here. Comment down below, like, what the hell should I use this for? Because so far I got nothing, man. Other than just beating the shit out of Bay when he acts up. These did not come with this machine. This was actually Bay's idea. You just kind of work your abs in them. They allow you to hang comfortably and then do some elevated ab work, some advanced abs. They were from Amazon, so I'll have them linked down below as well as all the attachments we got for our cable machine because we pretty much got one of every cable attachment. We're obsessed like that. Back here is just like a catch-all. <laughs> we got our Olympic bar, we have an easy bar, we have an extra yoga mat, Amazon suspension cables that I love to work with when I'm doing upper body and just kind of want to stretch it out a little bit. Okay, moving on to the Smith machine. Jim the Shark, what are you doing here? So this is our Smith machine. I mostly, I'm not gonna lie, I mostly just use this for heavy hip thrusts. I cannot, with my bad lower back, I cannot bring myself to do what I used to do with the Olympic bar, the freeway, the bench. With my bad lower back, getting off the floor with that kind of weight was the most difficult thing for me. I hurt my back more times than I can even explain to the point where Bay was having to actually take the barbell with the weight and place it on my hips for me. And I would do pulses and things like that. Since having this Smith machine, I have maxed out, hit a PR that I've never hit before because it keeps it just so stable and in line. It helps to isolate my glutes without me sacrificing my lower back. It has completely transformed my glute game. I absolutely love the self spotter on here. So when I'm all done, I just link it right back up and then walk away. There's no having to place it down and then it can really get to be a mess for me and my very fragile lower back. So this has been a game changer. I would, just for that alone, it's worth it. The Smith machine is really good for those who are looking to just isolate your muscles a little bit. I'm a huge free weight fan because I do believe that your stabilizer muscles need to be shown love too, but don't get it twisted. There's a time and a place where I need a Smith machine just to isolate a muscle and me just get to focus on mind muscle connection rather than keeping stable. So over on this side, can you see? Over on this side are all my glute bands. 
I'm big on glute activation because a long time ago, I never used to activate my muscles or work on mobility training. And I used to tear my glute muscle almost every single time I worked glutes and legs. So now I learned my lesson. I have every single type of resistance band you can possibly think of. So yeah, glute bands are my thing. Every single glute leg day, they get pulled out. And over on this side is where we have our plates. Okay, I mean, for our Olympic barbell and for our Smith machine, this is it. We got them in five, tens, 25s, up to 45 pounds, and I still wanna get more. I actually wanna get some 35 pound plates and uh, I don't know, I just keep man, I just keep thinking of more shit I want to put in here. We actually have two squat boxes on both ends of this Smith machine. I love using squat boxes for things like Bulgarian split squats, tricep dips, things like that. I, I feel like they're just so good for that, even quad isolation step ups. So I love having a squat box, plus it helps me reach things in here when I'm too short. Like the pull up bars, for example. The squat boxes are a necessity. How the f am I supposed to reach those? Honest to God now. Ow, look at this. Oh, oh damn. I did it. Now the trick is pulling up. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about this bench? You just gonna leave this uh, bench hanging? Yeah. Okay, so this bench right here. So here we have our adjustable bench. It was very pricey, but it's a lot better than the Amazon benches I used to use. I have a feeling that's what used to hurt my back really bad is the instability of those Amazon benches when the screws would just literally fall out underneath me. This is so stable. I love it. <laughs> it has a really nice range to it. It goes all the way up to pretty much straight up. A lot of different ranges you can use for chest press and things like that. But uh, yes, my hip thrust, baby, it's nice and stable. I need it. My back's been loving it. Again, we put the little garden vibes on either side. <laughs> Thought it looked cute when I'm taking my selfie in the mirror. It kind of frames it nicely. What do you think? Just got some squat wedges. These are perfect for free weight squatting with my Olympic barbell, with my floating squat rack, me and these squat wedges, we get it on. They are adjustable. So for me, I used to use a plate to keep my heels elevated. That kind of squatting exercise, front loaded, heel elevated squats are really good for targeting your quads. I swear by them, I love them. They, they're helping me out big time, but I couldn't use the plate anymore. It just wasn't working for me. It was actually super uncomfortable and not very stable. These are awesome. You can cut them in half or you can make them super inclined either way, but they're like pure rubber and super gripped. So there's no chance of sliding. This is from the brand Harder Will from Amazon. I'll have them linked. I love these so much. Game changer. So lastly, in terms of equipment, we have our full dumbbell rack. Oh, I spent a lot of time right here. These range from five to 50 pounds. Thinking about getting some heavier ones, storm underneath, I don't know yet. We'll see when that time comes. We also have just little itty bitty kettlebells underneath there from Amazon, these kettlebells. And uh, a random foam roller back there, but I'm not gonna lie, I barely use this stuff anymore because now I got my dumbbells. Every gym, in my opinion, needs a dumbbell rack, okay? And if there's anything in this entire gym that you should get, and this is my opinion, if I could only pick one thing out of this whole gym to get, it would be the dumbbells because you can do virtually anything with them. You can work every single aspect of your body with just dumbbells. For the longest time, this is all I used to use before heading into public gyms. Dumbbells are a necessity in my opinion. So, as you can see guys, we have just the one wall with the wall to wall mirrors. Luckily enough, right walking distance from our place is a actual mirror hanging company. <laughs> So we lucked out with that. We knew we wanted wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, just at least on one side. I don't think it's necessary for having it on two sides because then you got that weird like infinity reflection going on and it creeps me out a little bit. So uh, we needed the one side where most of the free weights were gonna be. This is the one and only thing that we cannot take with us when we move all our equipment into our future home because they actually had to glue it to the wall. But keep that in mind, if you're trying to do something like this, there's a good chance that wherever you put those mirrors, 
That's it, that's game over. That's where they're staying forever. So we have three full slab mirrors on here and it worked perfectly for the length of our wool. It's just what we needed, so we love it. So right here in the entryway, we did get a little cheap Amazon rack for all our, look at this. We got a lot going on here. Base freaking Superman costume, hats, beats, you name it. This is our just catch-all with all our clothing so that we don't have it sitting around on equipment. And then over here is just a little table with chairs <laughs> that still have the styrofoam on the bottom. These were both from Amazon as well. We just kind of needed a like working table just to kind of put our belongings, all our crud gets on here, our drinks, our meal preps. This just catches everything that comes its way. Props to Bay's mommy. She came up with this idea of getting more of a narrow table tucked away so it didn't interfere with the rest of our gym and the bar stools underneath to stow it away. So nothing is projecting out into the gym. Everything's just like flushed up against the wall. Keeps it very minimal and keeps the space open. So we love it. Then over on this side, we have our microwave, our fridge, our supplements, and of course, snacks. Because when I'm hangry working out, game over. Show yeah. us what's in the fridge, bae. So yeah, this is our like meal prep station. We just got a bunch of waters because honestly we have family that just comes by and swings by. So we like to make sure everybody's hydrated. <laughs> uh, we got our meal prep. This is my meal prep today actually. I just brought a bunch of hard boiled eggs just as a snack for when I get hangry. Random ass barbecue sauce <laughs> to make our boring d dinners like kind of tasty. Oat milk for my protein shakes as always, baby. You know how we do. Microwave we have never used. Um, and then of course my inno sups and just snacks. We have a lot of nuts in this place because nuts hold you over really well. In fact, I'm getting hungry right now. Mm. Here's boring lighting All right. that we didn't need today because it's a beautiful day out. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. But we don't we don't come around here often, you know. <laughs> the fire hazard. Don't tell anyone. We got insurance, so we're good. Last but not least, I just want to talk about the flooring in here in case you didn't see our older videos. This flooring is actual commercial grade gym flooring. It's a hundred percent rubber, baby. They're from Kodiak Sports. We went with them because they had the color we wanted. It's the lightest gray that we could find with little speckles of black and white. They were a really great company to go with high quality, super durable. We didn't get it professionally installed. We did it ourselves. It was a nightmare. Cutting through rubber. Have you ever tried to cut through rubber? Yeah, I'll never do it again. But nevertheless, the flooring itself was very expensive. It was more expensive than any other color. <laughs> I could not be happier with this flooring. It's such a good look for this gym. And at first when I was being really cheap, I said, maybe I'll just go with painted floors. But the thing with gym flooring is it really helps with like impact. The 100% rubber does not harbor bacteria and it's very, very easy to clean. So there is a reason why public gyms have a 100% like rubber flooring. Woo, I am exhausted now, I'm really tired. Oh. oh, that was it. That was the full gym tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and or found it helpful. I am toying with the idea of getting more stuff, <laughs> but Bay's trying to stop me. But I think I wanna do like a medicine bowl rack, more calisthenic based equipment, we'll see. Overall, we are in love with our gym. We're so happy that finally it's all put together and we could just move on with our lives. <laughs> it was a process, but it was well worth the wait. Other than the life fitness hiccups, everything else went fairly smooth, so. If I had to do it all over again, I totally would. It's worth it. I love having our own facility. This is my happy place, you know what I mean? It's not just for work, but it's really honestly where I play. It's like a playground to me. I love it. <laughs> okay guys, so we are gonna go ahead. It is leg day. We're getting into our actual workouts, okay? We gotta hit up those legs. If you have any questions at all, anything I didn't cover, please comment down below, okay? I'll get back to you on that. Hit me up on IG if you have any other questions. We can chit chat it up. Thank you all so much for watching and definitely be sure to subscribe. It helps me out more than you know. All right, I love you guys so much and we'll catch you in our next video.